Hi everyone. Are you terrified of losing your work? I am. So I have backups, and lots of them. Here on Scott Parker's Tech Tips, I'm going to show you how I use these two enclosure boxes that I have sitting on my desk to do my backups. Now each one holds four drives. Here's the one, two, three, four, and then another set of them down there. So there's a set that is called is in this thing called a Pro Box. And I have them here on my desktop. That's a Pro Box two terabyte drive. And it's number one, because I have two of them. Here's Pro Box two terabyte number two. Here's Pro Box three terabyte number one. And Pro Box three terabyte number two. Then I have in this other enclosure uh, four random disks that uh, I happen to have. So I use them. And, and I've got two of them, the main two that I'm going to use today is my four terabyte number one and four terabyte number two. Now here in these windows, I've got my four terabyte number one. So this one here, this directory here is this one over here. And then this one, four terabyte number two is this one down here. So you'll see that I have in four terabyte number one, I've got the video backup folder and then I have video courses FCP. Over here, I've got on the ter four terabyte number two, just the video courses FCP. Over here, this is my internal hard drive, and I've got these movies, and you'll see that these movies are match this list here. Okay. So my desktop hard drive is backed up to my four terabyte number one drive here we look at this parent group here, you'll also see that I have a folder called video courses. This is backed up over here to number two, because I definitely don't want to lose these. So I have a backup of the backup. If my four terabyte number one drive dies, I still have a copy of it on number two. I've had this happen where I lose an entire drive. Um, so I have a duplicate of each one in a program called GoodSync, which is my choice to use as a backup program. And I'll admit that there's a link down below and it's an affiliate link. If you happen to already own it, fantastic. But if you want to buy it, if you use mine, they throw me a few pennies. Um, so here I have it set up where my backup from Mac to four terabyte for backup, it goes from the movies to the four terabyte number one video backs. So let's make this shorter. And what it's doing is it is taking files from here. This folder here is this folder here. And it's taking them and backing it up to this folder here. See four terabyte number one. Here we have four terabyte number one and it's backing it up to this folder right there. Let's take a closer look at this. If we in GoodSync hit on Analyze, you'll probably see that it should be current because I believe I have these running automatically. Okay, now there are some changes, but you'll see how it wants to copy stuff from this side over to this side. So I will have to run that because a bunch of files are not present. Okay. So we have a copy from left to right. We have changes, but then we have all. If I click on all, you'll see a lot of equal signs. And those are the, all the ones that are already synchronized. So after I hit analyze, I want to hit sync. And it's going to take the files over that way. So hit on sync. And we have an information folder down here that's going to tell us what files we're actually doing. We have scroll to current, so it's keeping track of that and what files it's actually copying. And then here in this window, it's changing from the right arrow to the equal sign. And according to this, this is going to take about four minutes. So I'm going to pause and I'll be very back. And we're back. So now that everything has equal signs. I can go up and down and look at the entire thing. If I hit analyze again, it should just tell me that they're all, well, equal. Uh, let's see, changes, copy, left to right. Oh, <laughs> this recording that I'm making right now 
has been updated and it's sitting there waiting to be uh, copied over. So I'm going to skip that one for the moment. Now, if we look at my other job here and I click on analyze, I have made a new video for this class that I'm presenting and I can go ahead and sync that. There it goes. And it just synced from here over to here. Okay. So that is how that works. Now let's do something new. I don't have a backup from this drive to this drive, and I would like to make a duplicate of them. So one disk is backing up the other. So I do a new job. I give it a name, four terabyte number one to four terabyte number two, and it's going to synchronize them, not just back them up. It's going to keep them even. I click on OK. I'm going to click on the left drive, so local, volumes. It's searching for all the volumes that are currently connected to the computer. There we go. Four terabyte number one, and then I'll go over here to the right side. Local, volumes, and four terabyte number two. So this is going to create a direct copy from one side to the other of the entire drive, which means that I can probably get rid of one of these other, this other one, that's going from now, one to the other. Now if I click on sync, it's going to take a really long time because there's a lot. Let's see the information here. Required 461 gigabytes. Okay, so that's going to take a while. So let's click on sync, and then I'll have to come back. It should give me an estimate. It says it's going to take about an hour, which is fine. So that's what it's doing. It's synchronizing from, from left to right, and it's going to save this. And at some point, uh, once this is done, when I come back, I will click on the auto button and automate the process. So I'll be back in a while. And we're back. So that took a total of an hour and 20 mi 29 minutes at a speed of almost 90 megabytes per second uh, with no errors. So now we have the two folders are even. Do a sync there. So that's got a green check here. Um, and these two are, are even. So let's make this automated. So that each time one side gets updated, the other one will also get updated. So I'm going to click on auto. And I'm going to do on file change. I'm going to tell this to delay um, 10 minutes, which is 600 seconds. Okay, so it's going to keep polling the files, and if it sees a change, it will it will make a change. I'm also going to set this down here. Do not sync of change files more than 50%. Now, the reason why I'm doing that is because if one um, side gets completely corrupted or gets hit with a malware or something or other, and it uh, encrypts the entire drive or the entire folder, this will stop it from syncing. Pretty nifty. And we'll click OK. Okay, and that's going to pull it every 10 minutes. Let's check this other one here. From the oh, see, now it's checking it. That's automatic. And now it'll wait and see if anything changes. Let's check this one here. This one is from <clears throat> the from my Mac to the four terabyte number one drive, and I want to make this automated as well. So we're going to do this on file change, and let's just make this every 60 seconds. And so it waits, because you know how when you press save and then you press save again, um, you don't want to get it confused. And here we go. I'm going to change that um, if it doesn't change more than 50%. Now you also have a lot of other choices, which I cover in other videos. And I click OK. Let's hit Analyze. Just take a quick look. And again, the only thing that's different is this video that I'm recording right now. Now it's checking. Oh, there it goes. It's syncing that one. And there it goes. So that should be done in uh, 15 seconds. Okay. So that's how I use GoodSync to do this backup and uh, duplicate backup and such 
system. Now, I also sync this to my, with my other computer, which I do cover in another video. I may have mentioned that. And that job isn't listed here. That job is listed on the other computer. So, there we go. Thanks for watching. And uh, subscribe and like and all that kind of stuff. I'll see you next time on Scott Parker's Tech Tips. Bye-bye.